what I know uh, and, and several um, different kinds of client interactions and systems are examples of that that have uh, manifested is that it's, it's, it is both very helpful to speak the truth mm. um, and it's, it does a disservice certainly for the work um, I think for also our brand I don't know to what extent some of that what you talked about mm -hmm. in terms of the you know overly facilitative you know posture of our work maybe um, um, denies us the freedom to really step into being clear about what we actually know but um, just time and time again in different spaces, the ha how unhelpful it is and, and mm -hmm. how, given the context of real change and real oppression and real justice that is at stake uh, in very dire situations, it's so unhelpful <laughs> to not keep it real and keep it clear and keep it direct um, about what is true for a, you know, for a system, for a relationship. Um, it can be so helpful when, when, and particularly, that I think that's part of our role and why we're there to um, offer that uh, insight and truth telling in a way that a lot of times people in the system don't, can't see or don't have the luxury to kind of dip into and then not have to deal with the relationships or power issues that are at stake. But, um, and I could, you know, give different examples of why, but uh, I know that it is so helpful and powerful. Maybe it's certainly messy, um, risky uh, to speak to what we see, um, and it's just really less than desirable, if not more, to not to to ignore it or to gloss it over particularly given the role that we are asked to play mm -hmm. in this work, mm -hmm. which is unique. Mm -hmm. um, I, don't know, we, I don't think we have that luxury to not do that. I think it, it, it will, it, uh, our integrity has to come into question when we don't fulfill that role.